What is up, everyone? Welcome to a brand new review for I Feel Pretty. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm talking about the new film I Feel Pretty starring Amy Schumer. And for me, Amy Schumer is here and there. She hits or misses for me. I really enjoyed Trainwreck, but Snatched last year was one of the worst films I ever saw. Going into I Feel Pretty, I was kind of 50-50 on this. The trailers didn't really sell me. It kind of just looked like a paint-by-numbers comedy with a good message towards the end. And in the end, I Feel Pretty is that. It's a very predictable story, a very predictable comedy. And it has a good message at the end, which I do actually respect. I give a lot of credit for Amy Schumer coming in and saying, hey, yeah, I will be in this film, I Feel Pretty, and hitting this category. Because, you know, this is not a role that a lot of actresses or actress, actors would even take into consideration because, you know, it does happen to be like you have to embody who you are. And I, I give a lot of credit for Amy Schumer taking on this role. And she was good in the role. You know, she plays herself, and that's very much it. She looks like she was having fun in the role. And I Feel Pretty is definitely not as bad as some people would say. It's not the film for me considerably, but I think if you were intrigued by the trailers or you're an Amy Schumer fan in general, you are going to end up enjoying this film. The film does have some pretty good laugh out loud moments, which actually made me laugh. I giggled and I smiled through some of it, but this is my problem with a lot of the comedy in here is that it does play on a cringy level at times where... You know, she's this courageous person, but like other people are kind of judging her. And I get that's kind of supposed to be the humor, but at the same time, it's kind of cringy for me because I kind of just feel bad for her because she's not understanding that. And it, it overall kind of plays out in a dumb, cringy way, which doesn't work out in the end for me. And a lot of the laugh out loud moments, it, this theater kind of got a little bit quiet on those moments because it was kind of like, okay, everyone's judging her, but no one's really laughing with her. They're laughing at her. And that's not fun to see. But seriously, but the moments that aren't cringy on that level, and she's just being herself and a genuine human being, you do get the good laughs from her. There is a lot of good feel good moments in here. There is some good laugh moments in there where you are smiling, and in the end of the day, you do have a fun time watching I Feel Pretty. It's weird just to say that, that it's coming out of me that yes, I feel pretty. This isn't a film I'm ever gonna watch again, or a film that I will totally like tell all my bros and my guy friends to go see, but it's a serviceable film that does does have a good performance and a good message at the end that I really do believe in. I like these messages of people saying, hey, you're beautiful, you're courageous, go out and do it. Yeah, the film's serviceable. Yes, the film's simple and predictable. Yes, some of the comedy is a little cringy and that was probably my biggest negative with this film, but it made me laugh. It made me smile. I enjoyed myself and I didn't hate myself watching this film. I walked out having a good time and I think that's what a movie is supposed to do. It didn't blow me away, didn't do anything special, but that movie wasn't supposed to. So with all that said, I'm gonna give I Feel Pretty a C. Sure, a bunch of you guys were hoping that I would rip this film apart, but I, I can't because I didn't hate this film. I've definitely seen worse. Overall, I had fun watching the film. That what I can give to the film. But tell me guys, what are you guys excited for? Do you guys like Amy Schumer? Did you like Trainwreck? Because Trainwreck was one of my favorite films of that year. And I also want to hear what your guys' thoughts are of I Feel Pretty. If you guys have seen I Feel Pretty. So make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are on that. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you're new so you guys don't miss any of my videos because the next week, oh my god guys, MCU week is coming up because it's Avengers Infinity War. Tons of great content coming your way for that. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of those videos. Hell, even hit that notification button but also if you guys want to talk more geeky stuff go check out all my social media links down below twitter stardust and instagram and also go check out sandwich on films down below where you guys can go check out advanced movie screens that you guys might be able to win and get into say rampage was one of them this film super troopers 2 and tons of other films especially coming up over the summer you guys don't want to miss any of those over on sandwich on films and also you guys can get some movie news and movie reviews on there so make sure to go check us out of course until next time stay classy and remember that you're all pretty.